Evening, welcome to WJZ.com. On this Labor Day, a hot and humid afternoon. Our high reached 93. Our normal high day this time of year is down to 82, by the way. So we're going to run about 10 degrees above normal for the rest of the, really for most of the week. 89 in D.C., 86 now, 81 in Salisbury, 80 in Ocean City, 92 La Plata, and only 73 degrees out in Oakland. They pretty much missed the heat this summer for the most part. Shower activities dying out near Milford and Dover, Delaware, psh, just about gone. Around the Baltimore region, we had one pretty good shower south of the city. It's dissipated and also near Annapolis. It's also now gone. One little shower near Potomac. Psh, now gone. So overnight tonight, just look for a very humid night. In most areas, would just be clear, a few clouds, maybe a little fog in the morning hours is possible. Most of the activity, well, to the north of us, it's going to take a while to get here. Probably not until late Thursday night when we see a better chance of some scattered shower activity. And then on Friday, another chance with a frontal boundary close to the region. In the meantime, just continued heat and humidity for the next three days. Thursday night, with that front up getting closer, a chance of a shower, a thunder shower late in the afternoon or evening. And again on Friday with the front very close to the region. And behind that, much cooler conditions for the weekend. Meanwhile, we have a tropical storm. Gordon located the last report about 50 miles, the center of it, southwest of Fort Myers, Florida. However, Fort Myers has only picked up about a half inch of rain. Naples, a little further to the south, closer to the storm, has picked up about one and three quarters inches of rain and wind gusts around 38 miles an hour. The storm now moving off to the west northwest at 17. Winds in the center near 50, but the winds only extend out. The tropical storm winds only extend out around 45 to 50 miles. However, this storm is expected to become a category one hurricane just before it makes landfall between Mississippi, Alabama, and the New Orleans area. That'll be sometime early on Wednesday before it becomes a depression again once it moves inland. So we're going to watch it carefully. Those areas already under hurricane warning. Mississippi, Alabama, over to southern portions of Louisiana. That would be for late tomorrow night and on Wednesday. On our bay, water temperature at 83, perhaps a scattered shower, although chances aren't that great. Tonight, just warm, humid, 74 by morning. In the city, may not drop below 79. Tomorrow, hot and humid again, 93. Shower chances are slim until we get to maybe Thursday night. Still humid, 93, 93, 85 showers likely on Friday. Chance of a shower, although it's just cloudy and much cooler on Saturday. Shower possible for the Ravens game on Sunday. I have only 79 and a little warmer and also sticky again on Monday. Shower, thunder shower, 83 degrees to start next week. So summer is going to linger at least for the next three days or so. Have an updated forecast late tonight.